especially my generation right now who are actually going through a lot of mental health issues they are also having a lot of spiritual experience it's very difficult for the parents or loved ones to actually handle this side of their life what sort of conversations do you think a child should have with their parent when the other person is not as receptive to the subject Uh, I really, really want to talk about when a when a person like my my age, um, especially my generation right now, who are actually going through a lot of mental health issues, they are also having a lot of spiritual experiences. It's very difficult for the parents uh, or loved ones to actually handle this side of their life. What sort of conversations do you think a parent uh, or a child should have with their parent when the other person is not as receptive to su the subject? Yeah. yeah, that's a very interesting and a difficult uh, it, it, question as well. It is a yeah, it is a uh, whole thing in itself. And I'll I'll give you some context also. This is, this is the dad question I was yeah. <laughs> I was telling you about. Please go ahead. Uh, the um, my dad is not a spiritual being. He's that also not that religious. He, however, is very principle bound, right? So, and he's like he's a hardworking man, and he's come from uh, that part of very uh, strong values. Yeah, very strong values, and he stands for uh, ethics, integrity, yeah, ethics and all, yeah, and doing your bit, yeah, and giving it every day, yeah, doing your karma. Exactly, giving it your best every day. You put it right. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's like that. When I told him that this is, uh, you know, like I I'm coming I'm coming from a filmmaking background, and with the skill set that I have, and I probably could have gotten a good job, and I could have led that life. You know, everything's, and I did have when I started off. I did have a couple of good jobs, good companies I was working with, and. It's almost like they gave me a life on the platter <laughs> and I've just not used it, right? And it's difficult for parents to deal with that. It's, it's obviously coming out of concern. So what sort of conversation can I have with my father in terms of, not with my father, with people like me? What can I, what, what sort of talk can we have that they will understand or at least we can give them enough information. Obviously, we have to talk about our own experiences and talk about that. Be open. There's these things. But specifically about the, um, <coughs> the kind of path that one who starts on a spiritual journey. So this is not an easy journey. It's definitely right? I never said that. All right. Everybody says that. Right? Yeah. Even all religions say the inner journey is not a very easy journey. It's a challenging journey. Plus, it starts with a crisis. Yeah, it you, starts with a crisis. You generally yeah. go down. Yeah, yeah. So, you're starting at a low and then you're trying to build up. Right? Yeah. And at that point, when you're trying to build up using the spiritual path or using the inner journey, people don't understand this because they haven't experienced the energetic realm. They're not aware of their experience of the energetic realm. They're constantly living it. They are, they are part of this energetic realm, That's right? right. Yeah. But they're not aware. That yeah. they are part of their own beingness or their own connect or their own integration or their own being part of this realm, right? Yeah. So they're not aware that this realm exists. Yeah. Correct. That's true. So when they're not aware, how does one communicate with that person and help the person see? A is you help them understand. But if the person is not able to experience it and is only using the five senses to experience the world and not using the sixth sense, or there's a lot of dust on the inner space which they're not able to that is stopping them from experiencing uh, the energetic realm yeah for them whatever you're saying is not a reality yeah for them what they're experiencing is their own reality and what you're saying is not in alignment with that reality yeah so the normal reaction is that you've gone crazy yeah right and the normal reaction is that 
this guy has gone nuts. Yeah. What is he talking about? These things, this is all imaginary. Yeah. Be- and they don't mean it in a bad way. They they say it because they they are not able to experience this. Correct. When their inner space clears, then they can also experience the same thing. When all the non-contributive thoughts, emotions, judgments, and energies release from their inner space, as and when it releases, it becomes clearer, and their sensitivity to their sixth sense or the inner voice or the intuition increases, and then they can also experience and the the energy realm completely or begin to experience it. Until that happens, no matter what conversation you have with that person, it's going to be difficult, and you know you're not going to make any headway. Yeah. So my suggestion and solution is not to waste your time on these conversations. Hmm. It doesn't help. It doesn't. Help. Rather than that, if you can work on your inner space hmm. with intensity and with strong intent, having a very strong intent really helps in faster manifestation. Right. Having a very strong intent of clearing your inner space helps you clear it faster or with ease. Yeah. So when you work. on your inner space a beautiful thing happens you see it touches the lives of everybody around you your frequency the frequency at which your energy body is vibrating kind of enhances and that impacts the energy frequency of every person around you yeah. right and their frequency increases in other words their inner space inner space begins to clear that's true their experience of you changes yeah because they start seeing diff- uh, changes in you yeah and then they start realizing there is something there that's happening that's which i can yeah. connect with so definitely this person is on a path that's what they start realizing yeah is onto something which i can't see so mm-hmm. that's the first step yeah of awareness right that starts kicking in and then eventually when they starts seeing that your whole personality is changing into more uh, contributive more productive more loving more yeah. kind more confident m- more, more confident composed yeah and more contributing more content person yeah then they begin to see they, some, they feel they begin to get inspired this is exactly what my experience has been it's you're right. putting it really well yeah and when they begin to get inspired inspired their mind might resist it still the conscious yeah. mind or ego might come in and resist it Yeah. But eventually if they are ready for it then uh they follow suit or they start the exploration journey. Yeah. And this person then plays a role or you play a role in their journey and facilitating their journey. Yeah. You see it's not about your own journey it's about when you make a shift everybody around you who's yeah. in touch with you gets impacted and their life begins to shift. So that's the best thing you can do is to f- discussing and getting into arguments and trying to convince nothing of that will work because you're trying to tackle the thing at the conscious mind level yeah. rather than that go within and as they say you can't change anybody yeah but the one person you can change is your own self so the one thing that you, which is in your control is to work on your inner space and clear your inner space and thereby not only will you feel more happy connected yeah. content peaceful fun joyful healthy abundant but also everyone around. everyone else around you starts perceiving shifts in their energy and their experience of you begins to change yeah and they feel more inspired they feel more connected with you yeah. and your relationship blossoms yeah it's so well put so well put that's exactly what my experience has been i like i'll even tell you right like the crisp the detail crispy details of it so it started off with uh me going on this journey we my dad and I would have fights that I would not uh, he would not see my point I would not see him point see his point and then yeah. I would tell him I'm not enjoying this life and he would be like what are you talking about but eventually he because he saw the pain I was right. going through right. he would understand the pain he would right. not understand all the might not approve of the approach i was going with but he he'll see the pain because he's your father because he's my father and he loves you yeah, exactly to the core yeah so he saw it and then and he, he was concerned he was concerned so he let me take the path i would and then he then he saw me getting better and then he in the no it's not just him even it's my all my family members right. my cousins my brothers right. 
when I came back from Rishikesh, I was a different person. I sure, and I came with. Uh, I was much more available for my family. I was there for my correct uh, for the people around me, and correct. I was in a good state also. Right. I wouldn't say I've completely changed, but it was the it big. The process started and. Correct. I healed a bit right. enough to deal with these things from right. a good space, right. and then from there, uh, they first thought, th thought I was going nuts because I was talking about all these things. But then slowly, they started experiencing some of the experiences. That was that was surprising even for me. Is uh, we went um, we went on a trip and. Throughout the trip, I was talking about these things and they were like, what are you talking about? And um, the, I would be the guy, well, I, not always, but I would, I would be the guy who, who would be like, can you not talk about deep things all the time? And I'd be like, but I, this is like, for me, that, that is what that's matters. life, right? That's, that's life, what, right? that's exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. what something excites you. That's what is exciting what, you're for so, you. You're so Correct. concerned of like not dealing with all of this that you don't want to talk about it right but so you you're basically acting out of fear that's right but uh, by the end of that trip uh they started uh reading some of it right. they, they also started uh, uh they started understanding some of the things i was saying i was also walking around with a book that uh, when they saw the book they realized oh there's something there's people are writing books on this there is something here right and then they started um started getting like uh, clips on instagram right. about all this and then they, then my cousin one day realized that oh this is all real and he saw my content and he was like actually you know what i that's good stuff i'm actually gonna watch it and right so and, but as far as my dad is concerned throughout the whole thing when i came back and he did see some positive results in me he was he was happy but he was still he was still doubtful. He was like, we'll see if it will stick. Dude, yeah, we yeah, came back yeah. from a trip. I'm sure it's good. But right. and then, but then he saw me getting better. Right. Saw me getting better and better and better and better. Then he saw the value in it. Then he himself started noticing these, again, topics. Like when he was watching something on TV, I made him watch a couple of podcasts. And uh, then he started getting it. Then one day... I sat him down, I told him everything and finally it made sense to him. And then he was like, okay, okay, cool. Now I, get I get what it. you're saying now. And uh, I think for, because of this, our relationship also healed. We became closer. closer. Um, and also uh, my own anger, my yeah. own like depression, all yeah. these went down. So I was also spending good time with them. And so it's an overall building and the and whole families it's it's growing together it's the and it's because right. i was more involved in right. and somehow it brought us together right which is magic in terms of what i'm and it's not just rishikesh it was also alpha healing meditation right. when i started doing it i um i didn't know anything about it um and he told me it's this simplest thing to do doesn't take any of your time you just lie down and do it. And if you fall asleep, it's fine. So I was sold. <laughs> <laughs> what a point to be sold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But it is true, though. You don't actually yeah. have to do. There's no any, like, there's struggle. No active, there's no struggle. There's yeah. no act, like. Yeah. Yeah. There's no active participation mm. other than the first couple of 10 right. to 15 right. breaths. Right. Uh, that you yeah. do. Right. Uh, other than that, right. you right. just lie down and do it, right. and it so naturally takes you into right. this um, limbo state between right. sleep right. and right. wakefulness. Correct. The and alpha state. That's the alpha state. That's what we call it as. Yeah. It's a name that we. It is actually. I, I read. I did some research on it. No, there is. Yeah. The alpha right. brain. Correct. Yeah. It's, Correct. it's beautiful. Right. So essentially, I started doing alpha healing meditation, right. and then I went and learned Kriya Yoga from in, from Rishikesh, and right. I practiced that also. And I've reached a point now where I've been able to handle um, the emotional stresses of various kinds. Um, and familial stresses of right. various kinds. I'm, right. be, I'm able to be there more for my family. But beyond all of that, I'm able to do what I love. I'm able to have more pleasant conversations. I'm able to 
connect be, with your family connect kind of with my family connect with myself them. be there for myself and be there for them be there when, for them when it's, it's required a, it's an overall integrated lift up of my life and your entire family and life. my entire family yeah and so because of that it's it, it obviously got us all together but more than that it it became a, a topic of conversation spirituality became a topic of conversation in the family and it became um they started seeing more on just value in it but also some uh level of uh, at some level i'm sure they're all using it at somewhere you know that yeah, that sort yeah. of thinking yeah 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 so that's that's been my journey and from but the what i want to share is that this is so important for each and every one of you out there because i'm sure there isn't a single person in this world who hasn't or who isn't going through problems yeah right and all of us are going through problems yeah so if we are going through problems then how do we kind of handle this yeah most of the times when we go through a problem at most in our relationships or anywhere in life we try to focus and find a solution on the outside yeah and we struggle because not everything in, on the outside is in our control yeah but almost we, nothing outside is in our <laughs> control it's yeah 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 but if you can but in a thing is in our control if we know how to use it if we exactly. if we have awareness of it and if we have tools to kind of clear our inner space tools yeah. to work with our inner space yeah now that's what exactly alpha healing meditation tools are and these are just one such tools there is kriya yoga as yeah. you mentioned yeah there is uh, art of living that we mentioned yeah there is um, access consciousness yeah there is pranic healing there is reiki there is yeah. past life therapy yeah right exactly. so there's so many, and there is sound therapy yeah so there are different modalities through which you can achieve this one goal of clearing your inner space that's true right and with that you can bring a shift not only in your life but in the life of everyone who's connected with you and i know so many of you out there feel so much of pain for your loved ones when they see your loved one in pain and you want to help your loved one but the only way you can help your loved one is not only by being there for them in their emotional space or emotional need but by also working on your inner space so that the transformations that are happening within you impact them and bring about a change in them so this is also a very powerful way of facilitating journeys in your family members or your friends and fam or your loved ones partners and uh, thereby helping them yeah right i also want to bring out one point what you said so it's not about going to rishikesh i want to make it's that not. one thing clear yeah, because i agree if you're not aware then this might create a confusion in your mind that you need to go to a certain place yeah to do this certain places in this planet earth have high nodal energy high frequency or high energy points so there if you go and do these practices your ener- your your healing accentuates or the releases happen faster yeah right that's about it but you can do this sitting right there where you are right now wherever you are at the comfort of your home yeah right using the tools that are available online yeah and nowadays many courses are online and you can use them to do it so on this very auspicious note i wish you all the very best and um, <laughs> let's connect in the next session again thank you and god bless thank you that was wonderful we feel this emptiness within us a lot of us do there's a void within our chest a gaping hole and we try to fill it with so many things a job relationships objects um i don't know capitalism but the truth is none of it can actually fill that void and we get this so disappointed and we end up living this life of pain but it doesn't have to be that way uh, this mindset that we don't have something can only be beaten with the mindset that we have everything and that is your true state your true state is of abundance the best way to do it is to clear your inner space and which is why we started this series i want i hope this helps as many people as possible 
if you did enjoy our content please like comment share and subscribe please watch the entire series because i think it's gonna be of great value we've spoken about various diverse topics and thank you for watching and see you in the next one so there is a past life then for and most souls there is if you had to explain explain the concept of past life in a way that they get it so how, like how would you do it we get up in the morning and we take some time to collect our, ourselves and, collect. and then we live our day go through several experiences we go through certain highs we go through a lot of pain sometimes the day is just mundane and after that we sleep and in the morning then again you come back and your conscious mind takes over takes over the same thing very similar happens when you take a body right and you live a life we take a body in this lifetime which is our avatar and then we leave the body after some time who is this we this we is the soul we are not this physical body alone we take this physical body for a certain purpose for experiencing certain experiences in this lifetime and after the purpose is met then we kind of take a break leave the body go to the after realm that's when healing happens it's very similar to how we start our day Do 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 do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? Oh my god. I just stumbled upon gold mine.